What's up, my guys, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today, we're going to be revisiting that line following AI that I made in the last Scrap Mechanic video. Now, it's still a work in progress. There's still some kinks I have to fix, but at the moment, it is, for the most part, functional what I want it to be able to do. There are a few things I don't have ready and set up, and there's a few things I need to fix, but these are them. They're pretty much the same thing as that one over there, which is actually what I showed in the last episode was this course, actually. They're pretty much that. Rather than only being able to recognize three directions, these can recognize six. They can also be given commands from color tiles. So as they go by these, these are color sensitive. So if there's something on the side of the road that has a color, they can also change their path based on that. In the future, I'd kind of like to add carriages to these so you can ride with them. They're not the fastest, which is one thing I do need to note. They're pretty slow right now, but there are some things that I, some ideas I have that can probably fix that in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and get these started up and then we'll talk about everything else once that's started. So that's brown, blue, and light blue. So let's get light blue, start him up which he'll hit when these are at full length. Now these are actually different versions. I've just realized that. Because these have five, but this guy has 20. So I'm gonna delete these real quick and get a whole new batch of them. Now I only have three paths currently programmed on this course that we have here, but I could go up to six. And let's paint these so we can tell the difference. So this is gonna be Dark blue, light blue, and brown. Brown, these are the three that I have done so far on this course. Now these do not have any kind of, this course isn't set up for like navigating. These are only set up on loops right now for the sake of simplicity so I can test some things. There we go. So this is light blue, start. This is dark blue, start. And this is brown, go. And they all should start going because they're all connected to their sensors. I'm gonna write on this one so we can look at it. Now, these all have markings. These tiles that you see out here are actually something that I pre-made and that you can copy and paste really easily. That way it's pretty easy to set up a course if you really want to. And then based on how you set up the course, you can put down the markers that tell directions. One thing I still need to work on is the intersections, the three-way intersection and the four-way intersection. I need to set up some sort of like stoplight on them because even though these do have detection forwards every once in a while they will get themselves in a position where neither of them can move and it just jams up the intersection and sometimes they will get off course while in an intersection it's kind of rare but it does happen so now that we come up to this juncture I'm actually going to hop off you can see that it has commands for blue and brown, dark blue and brown. So this is brown. So when he comes up here, he's gonna to switch to the red sensor and he's gonna follow the red sensor around the corner. He's going to hit that white mark and it's gonna send him back to black. Blue's gonna come up and do the same thing. I'm gonna hit that. He's gonna switch his sensor color. Whereas light blue doesn't have a command, so it'll go straight through this intersection. Ah, and here's some of the things, this course isn't up to date. So there still are some issues like that intersection would have messed with blue. There are still some things like that that I haven't yet fixed. This is an experimental course that I'm still working on things. And as blue comes up here, he gets a sensor to go on yellow, so he turns yellow, brown continues forward, and now they're all on their separate loops. 
I did already do some time lapse of this, so I will be showing that some po some point in this episode. I'm not exactly sure when, but it will be shown at some point. And at the moment, that's pretty much all they are. They're set up on loops, and a lot of these don't have markings because none of them use them. But if I ever did a system that had to navigate, I'd have to fill up almost every single one of these commands to make sure that it can find its way. So light blue is going this way, hit a yellow mark, turn left, blue is looping around. And I guess one thing I could do is, why don't you have a, oh you're brown, your light's really dim. I guess I could walk these and show you the different courses that these guys would take. So right now it's just set up where they all start on that back area and then they come around. So blue and brown come this way. Blue takes yellow, comes through. Blue takes red and he starts his loop back over going to the start and going back around. Brown comes here takes red, continues through this intersection, follows this corner, takes red, comes all the way around, and begins his loop, or wait, no, no he doesn't, no he doesn't, he comes here, aha, stop you, comes here, follows yellow, follows red, follows yellow, and then starts his loop. Light blue, on the other hand, comes through here, doesn't have anywhere, or I guess I technically could ride him, but he's slow. Takes a corner, comes through, light blue says follow red, come through here, that's not right. No, I misread this, follow yellow. I'm sorry about that. Come through straight, follow yellow and then loop back around. So blue is just a loop, a direct loop. Brown's a little bit more complex. I think brown's the most complex of all these. But they do intersect every once in a while and their little sensors on the front of them can detect each other and stop to give right away. But the problem is when they kind of, when they come head on at each other in an intersection or whenever a turn lines up their sensors, if they see each other, then they both get stuck in the intersection, which is why I need to put lights of some sort in the intersections. Um, I also need to check a few things, test a few things with intersections to try and make them more reliable. While they are decent right now, every once in a while one of them will get off track. It's not the most common thing, but it does happen. In the future, I'd like to make these guys a bit faster because right now they are slow. Quite slow, actually. But I am going to just let this run and time lapse it so you guys can get an idea of what these guys are like. See them interact, see if they mess up. They probably will after a while because there are, like I said, issues that I still need to work out. But I'm actually going to end out this episode right here, right now, and then finish it up with a time lapse. So if you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like. If you have suggestions for future episodes, please leave in the comments down below. Enjoy the channel, enjoy what I'm doing. Please subscribe, it helps out a lot. And right now, shares help out the channel the most. So if you do want to help out the channel, please share this episode with a friend. Thanks for stopping by, thanks for sticking around, and until next time, peace.